What's up, guys? D and D Vapes, and uh, I'm here today with uh, Coil Hacks, and I haven't done one in a while, and I'm actually glad to be able to come today and do a video for you guys on hacks for vaping. This one particular hack is going to be for the macro lens for you coil builders that like doing your macro shots and showing it off to everybody. So one of the problems is, is a lot of people don't know what a lot of builders are using to do the shots that close up. Um, and the ones that do know, don't know where to purchase one or don't have the money. So I have one here. This is a macro lens. And basically how you use this. You clip it on your phone. In front of your camera. And by doing so, you can magnify some shots so big that you could probably even get like splinters out of your finger that are microscopic. So anyways, these are cheap, but a lot of people still can't afford them. <clears throat> and the reason why they can't afford it is because as far as money goes, a lot of people have money that they spend their money on. And when it comes to something new that is just there and they have to order it from China or wherever they're going to order it from, it's just a, it's not a convenience, you know, until they have the right amount of money for them to be able to purchase it on the same way. Um, but anyways, for you people who can't or know or could buy it and know where to get it at, which is wish.com, you could get them about four bucks, five bucks for a kit with different lenses. Uh, also is geek.com, just geek, uh, G E E K.com or wish.com. Those two websites are affiliated. They're together and they do a lot of good cheap business for vape stuff or anything you think of it and they have it tools household goods uh cooking goods i mean anything type it in and most likely this place has it for a dirt cheap price so they have all types of camera gears all types of good stuff uh microphones shit for your computer and stuff like that so that's where i got my macro kit at also i have another kit that goes to my my phone case with a bigger lens that scopes and it screws right on with on the tip right here. Um, it's really nice setup for my phone so I could get some nice far distant shots that I can't reach. I could just put that on and, you know, zoom in. But for me here, I have a macro lens. I could do my, uh, my coil porn. But there's a lot of people who still can't and, re you know, they really want to. So what I'm doing here today is I'm going to show you guys one of the cheapest cheapest ways to do a macro shop without having to purchase a macro lens without spending a dime or even using a macro lens i'm going to show you how with one item in your house or three items in your house because you know you need a tool to use this product i'm going to tell you that you need to make your lens up. So the way I do this is, one, you need your phone. Two, a cup of water. All right? Number three, a Q-tip in the water because we're about to use that. So that's all you need to do some macro shots. So I'm gonna show you right now some macro shots how to do them without using um without using a macro camera okay so here we go let's go down bottom and check this out
Okay, so here we go. We have our cup of water right here. We have our coil that we're gonna zoom into and take a snapshot of. We have a ruler that we don't need. It's magnetic, so it just sticks there. And we have our number one thing is our camera on our phone so we could do our macro shots. Make sure your camera lens is clean. Okay, a lot of times the way I clean it is I use an alcohol swab. You can purchase these at Home Depot, CVS, I mean Home Depot, CVS, uh, Walmart, anything like that. Uh, you want to keep this clean because we're going to put water on it. So you want clean, clean, clean. Water, water, water. Yeah, I know it sounds, it sounds bad because we're going to be using water, but it's not enough. We're just going to use a little drop of water, that's all. All right, I'm just cleaning my phone since I have this out. Clean my phone real quick. All right, so we got our lens right here. I hate fingerprints on my phone, sorry. All right, so we have our lens right here. So what you want to do is, you grab your Q-tip, okay? Now you don't need a lot of water. You want to make sure that this drop of water stays in where the metal is. And there you go, that's it. That's all you need. All right, so I don't know if you can see how much water I have on there. But you see the drop of water, how much that is? That's not a lot. It's just a little bit of water. And it sits perfectly on that little lens. You can't even notice that there's a drop of water there. It looks almost like it belongs there. All right, and that wasn't there. That is a drop of water. All right, guys, see? drop of water just want to show you that's what it is once again we're going to take our, our q-tip just wipe it off because you're not going to need a lot of water you're just going to dab dab on the lens water until you get the right amount that you need i don't have enough Let's see, is that, oh, there's nowhere near enough water on there. There we go, all right. Just want to make sure it covers all the way up to the little stainless steel part. Once you do that, you have yourself a macro lens. That's all you need to do, right? So as long as that stays on, Let's move this camera up. Let's move that coil up so you guys can see how nice this works out to be. All right, so get your camera to zoom in. Oh, it's on video. All right, so now it's on video, I mean on camera, all right? There we go, look at that. Look at how clear that is. Look at that. Look at this beautiful, up close, super close macro shot. And you can zoom in and zoom out. Look at that. Will y'all look at that? That is a beautiful close up shot. A little too close because I'm shaking. But that's just as good as my macro lens that I have. Now, if you don't have a lens, you can literally put a drop of water and take some beautiful close-up shots of anything you need to. And this one, it just happens to be coil porn for me. All right, let's take another picture. Let's uh, tilt it over this way like this. We're going to find that coil, all right, we're going to get a closer up look at it. Make sure you're not too close. I'll get a nice close up shot of that coil. So we're going to get really nice close up shot of that. All right, so this is water. 
This is not glass. It's just water. You don't have to worry about losing it. You don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. All right. So I'm going to show you the two shots that I did. All right. So this is one. You can see how nice and close and detailed you could get of these wires. This is a uh, 20, uh, 20. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the wrap. This is 34 gauge. And then that's 26 gauge inside and 34 gauge on the outside. And look at how beautiful you could see the coils. You could do some really nice shots. And what I like about it is you get a nice direct shot right here. And then as it goes away, it blur, it starts to blur out like it's going out in the distance. It gives it a really nice detailed shot. And that is, it's really cool, guys. You get some really nice detail with a drop of water. So you'll be able to do some nice shots. Um, you don't need a lens as long as you have a phone uh, that has a decent camera on it to zoom in and out. Uh, you'll be able to go ahead and, uh, and do that. So pretty cool. Why did this get stuck on there? All right, so I don't know, the other camera got stuck on the on the close-up coil. So let me just move this out of my way. Um, I really wanted you guys to see that because I think that'll be very handy to some of you who love doing your coil porn. And uh, I want you guys to know that there's other options out there than having to sit there and wait and try to buy something that you might not have the money for. You could just go ahead and put a drop of water right on your little... Right on your little camera there. If you have an iPhone, it's really simple because they have the stainless steel part there and it sticks to it. Uh, they have magnetic uh, cool little gadgets that stick right to it too, which is pretty cool. But the easiest one is a drop of water and you got yourself a cool little macro homemade camera with water. Um, and that should help you get some nice close-up shots of whatever you want. It's not just for coils. I mean, if you want to do close-ups, uh, I do also, I do some nice close-up shots of cannabis, uh, some flowers and stuff like that and get the nice hairs and crystals on it. Um, I do close-up of uh, just stains outside, life, it's, you know, just life outside in general. Um, you could do whatever you want in that drop, simple drop of water. You could go outside get a drop of water off the off the river or the pond or the leaf or something that has water drop it on and just start taking some snapshots real quick it's a cool idea for you guys who uh don't have a macro lens and you want to do some uh some porn uh some coil porn and i think it's a great idea and i hope you guys find this very useful for yourselves uh, and i hope you guys uh tag me on Instagram if you do post some shots with the water drops and uh, I would really like to see how it comes out guys. So this is DD Vapes. I am out of here and I hope that this macro uh, hack will help you for your coil porn. So guys if you like this video leave me a thumbs up uh, and if you got any questions about this video leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as I see that they're up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And don't forget about my 400 subscriber giveaway, guys. All right, be there. Peace out. God bless. Vape on, guys. I hope you guys use this. Don't forget, I want to see some nice snapshots of you guys using your uh, macro lens of water. Peace out.